Now let's talk about an issue that you may come across when you're trying to manually upload users, import users into your Cisco Secure Access dashboard. As you can see right now, we have we got four users in here, right? So we got Asan, we got Temp, we got Temp2, and then we got Viking, right? And uh, these are the email addresses that you see right here. And the source is manual, obviously, because we're using the CSV file. I've discussed, um, uh, you know, provisioning users in great detail in uh, the second video in the series. I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and check it out. Uh, okay, now uh, moving forward, we're going to go ahead and click on provision users. I'm going to show you the problem now. So let me just go ahead and do that. All right, let me click on uh, provision users. Yeah, I'm going to go for the second option. So manual upload, click on next. And then I'm going to upload the file here. I've already downloaded the file using this button. You can go ahead and download a new file. I've already done that. Let me open that file. Okay, so here we have the new file, right? So I'm going to add a new user. I'm going to say a boss. And I'm going to say user principal name a boss at tnw.com. I'm going to say again a boss at tnw.com. And I say tnw here. Okay, all good. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Control S. I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to drag and drop this file. Okay, drag and drop, done. Now I'm going to go ahead and say done. And let's wait for it to complete. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, reload the page just to make sure that the changes take place because it mentions it right here in case you don't see the changes right away. That it may take a few minutes for users to appear. Right, I've added a bus. So I'm going to go ahead and reload the page now. And let's see. Now it should show just one result. Right? Now that is a problem. That's a big problem. I just got one user here. What about the other three users? What about Asan? What about Temp? Temp2 and a Viking. Those users are gone. So you added a new user manually and the other users are gone. That's a bad thing. That should not happen. Now, wonder... If you were using Asan or Temp or a Viking uh, in access uh, rules or access policies that you define under secure, right? There's an option under secure. The first option is access policy. Wonder if you were using any of those users in access uh, in any of the access policies, right? So this is not the right approach, as it says while uploading the file as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to do it in the correct way. So provision users, click on that again, and go ahead and click on the second option. And then if you go ahead and upload the file here, well, let me just check if it says the same warning here as well. Uh, if not, I'm going to show you the other, other option. Oh, it, it said that. It said that. Yeah, it said that. So if I go back to provision use, I'm pretty sure it said something like that. So manual upload. Why didn't I see it? That's weird. The CSV file will replace uh, replace any previously uploaded CSV file. It says the the exact thing that it does, right? So we'll have to pay more attention and make sure that we do not mess it up. So what we do in this case, to make sure that we don't lose the previously uh, imported users is we go ahead and edit the same old file and add the user in there. So we say a boss here. And now I'm going to say um, a boss at tnw.com, then a boss at tnw.com, and then tnw. All good, all set. I'm going to say Control S and close it off. And I'm going to drag and drop this CSV file now. All right. So I'm going to say done. All right. Uh, let it take a minute. OK. Now let me just go ahead and reload the page. Let's see what we have now. OK. Come on. Five results. That's good, right? So we got four, and then the fifth one is a boss that we added. Boss at tnw.com and the others as well. Now, if I wanted to add more users, right, I can just do the same thing. I can go to manual upload, do next, 
and basically go ahead and open up the same CSV file. So you just need to make sure of one thing that you don't lose the CSV file. So I can do, uh, you know, test one and then say test one at tnw.com and do the same thing test one at tnw.com. Now, this is a new user in my company, test user. His name is test one. And the other user we just got in the company is, let me just show it to you, test two. And the email is test two at tnw.com. And the other one is also test two at tnw.com. And I'm not, I'm not looking at the screen. Sorry if I typed anything incorrectly, not a problem. So I added two more users and I got the previously added users in here as well. So I'm going to say control S, close it off, drag and drop and done. So here we are. It shows five results right now because, uh, you know, it's not updated at the moment. However, it's not updated. It doesn't show up here, but here you will see the users. So anyways, let me just reload the page and let me just show you the complete thing it'll show you seven results this time right we added two more so we got seven results right and all of these are right here we added these two test one and test two well the good thing you still have the previous users in here right so no problems with that you're not going to lose any users and you can still use uh, those users are not going to disappear from your access policy that you that you have defined under secure or from any other place where you're using that uh, user right um so i got a call sorry about that but before you go, make sure to subscribe, like, share, and most importantly, comment. That helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And have a great time ahead. Goodbye.